What is up everybody? Welcome to the new year. Welcome to a new month and more events in Wizards Unite. This month we have four new things that you need to be looking out for and I'm here to talk about each one of those with you starting right now. So of course later today starting January 7th at 1 p.m. for me 11 a.m. Pacific time will be the Frosty Foundables event. We actually already covered this detail uh, in this particular event in my last video. If you want to click on the card above you can check out those kinds of tips and tricks that I have to offer you there as well as just a couple of things about the event itself. Of course, we will see lots of increased spawns in ice confoundables, so those bits and pieces of magic that are being trapped in ice, those will be more often found in the wild. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the next one because we already discussed that in the video before. The next really cool event that will be happening this month is of course January Community Day, uh, which will be taking place January 18th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in your local time. So wherever 11 a.m. is for you, uh, that is when it begins and will end at 2 p.m. The details for that are as follows. Uncover secrets of the Room of Requirement registry page by returning wonders of the wizarding world. Keep an eye out for especially rare wonders such as the faux glass and whomping willow. Here are the pages that you'll need to work on in order to prestige uh, for that event. I know I have a lot of Hogwarts Express and a lot of the Hogwarts Express signs to do. A lot of Fortress Foundables that I need in that particular family. There's actually a Wonders landmark area about 30 minutes away. I might try to drive over there and grind some of those out so I can prestige those pages during community day. But I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, it also is my birthday month, so uh, January is, is gonna be packed full of things and I'm very, very excited about that. The next thing that you need to make note of will be the Darkest of Times, a brilliant event part one. So that means that it'll be a multiple uh, part event that will begin on January 21st and run through January 28th, which is kind of weird because we are used to having two brilliant event weeks per month. And of course, in my in my wish list video, which I'll also leave in the card above uh, for 2020, I kind of complained and was like, please make brilliant events more special, uh, compound them instead with other events that can give you really unique rewards and things that we need as players. Uh, just like this rare Ice Foundables event. I'm not saying that I'm the reason that these are happening. I'm just saying that it's really, really cool to see that this is the route that they are taking with these particular types of events. So Darkest of Times, Brilliant Event, Part 1, again, January 21st through the 28th, and that'll be 11 a.m., uh, probably Pacific time. That seems to be when they do everything. Now, the description for this has me very intrigued. It says, remember our favorite Hogwarts headmaster by returning brilliant foundables, including Dumbledore and Fox. And I'll talk about this in just a second, but I also want to go ahead and get to part two, which is coming uh, TBD, probably coming in February, if I had to guess, because that's just, I mean, it would just make sense. The first week in February will probably be like normal time in the game, and then the second week in February might have uh, the brilliant event, might also have like some sort of Valentine's Day event. I'm not positive, but I'm just, I'm just guessing there. The second week description says, Honor Dumbledore's legacy by returning brilliant foundables related to key memories of his fight against Voldemort, including the brilliant Pensy. So I'm very, very interested in this particular event. I mean, we're talking about Dumbledore. Dumbledore! One of the most iconic characters in the entire series. We're talking about going and finding brilliant foundables of Dumbledore in the wild. I mean, this has got to be the perfect time for some really meaningful dialogue. I expect characters, I mean, I expect Harry, Ron, and Hermione to all have some really, really good quality dialogue bits in here. I'm interested to see what Constance uh, says. I'm interested to see what the Foundables look like. I mean, who are we gonna see? What are we gonna have? Are we gonna have 
um, really dark types of foundables to, to discover. I'm, I'm really interested to see that. And of course, we'll have more details for all of these events coming up. So of course, as always, in order to get the latest details on all of these events, make sure, of course, that you are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. I put out update videos, I put out details for events videos, I put out gameplay videos, all that kind of stuff, and you can absolutely guarantee that I will be one of the first to cover these types of things. So uh, make sure you're subscribed down below. And if you like this video, if you like updates and that kind of stuff, and if you're excited for the events of January, make sure you leave a thumbs up as well as clicking that red subscribe button and then ring that bell because it does help out the channel a lot and you will be notified the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. I am extremely excited for the slew of events. I can't wait to get more details about Community Day and see exactly what we're gonna get other than those pages and the wonders of the Wizarding World. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on your way out and thank you so, so much for watching this video. Until next time, peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>